Hi, we're in Vivian, Louisiana at the Epic Boat Factory. We're here with Kurt Jarson, president of Epic Boats, and we're going to start off talking about Epic's resin infused technology to strengthen their hulls. Kurt, can you tell us a little bit of, about that? Hi, Errol. Thanks a lot for this opportunity. Here's the resin infused. What's different about resin infusion is normally a boat is manufactured in a hand laid process. So all the material is sprayed onto a mold and rolled out. When we build the boat, the boat is actually, you take the mold, all the material comes in and dry. It gets this plastic over it, it's sealed, and then it's introduced in a vacuum. It goes down to one atmosphere. Now what happens is the air pressure forces the resin in the uh, container back here into the system. It goes through the material, and it's a real consistent process. So instead of, because a person rolled this area a little harder, a little uh, stiffer, this process is exactly the same all the way across. When you're making airplane parts or car parts, you build, you use resin infusion. We make pieces for uh, the uh, DeLorean car, Back to the Future car. Well, there's a guy that brought that back. He makes fiberglass parts for the boat. He makes them. We do those for them in, in this resin infused process. What this will do for you, instead of around a 70% resin to 30% fiberglass material, you get about a 30 to 40% resin to a 60 to 70% material. So it's a lot stronger uh, use of the fiberglass material instead of resin being part of your mass. Resin is what gives you all your trouble. That's where you get your spider tracking and gel checking, some of the nuisances issues that happen to almost every boat as it gains an age because of this certain amount of flexible because flex because the resin is not flexible it's soft it never gets real hard but it'll still as it dries out over the years it'll start seeing these uh, the grazing issues so when you have this kind of a system you have something that's very consistent the same thicknesses the same fit, we don't have to try and grind something down to make something attached to it. How much stronger would this be of a normal fiberglass? Well, when you're talking thousands of pounds, uh, we've got all that material that's not on the tip of my tongue. I'd have to get that for you. Uh, suffice it to say, I've had boats that have impacted things and had very minor damage. Uh, one job that came in was a, a they thought it was a warranty. We didn't have the guy who hit something very hard. Internally, there was some damage. Externally, there was hardly any. It uh, it seems like it's not as strong because in certain areas you can feel a little bit of flex, but it's because you're depending on the material instead of the resin. So when you have a lot of resin, you can hit something and it's very rigid, it's like a board. Uh, but when you use it in a, uh, a resin infusion process, it, it takes out all that stiffness which is fake strength. Right. When you impact it, it cracks. Yeah. And so it'll look like something happened where when you build, well, like, you know, talking about you build skyscrapers, the top of those is sway. It's not designed to be rigid, it's designed to give. And so resonant fusion, because it is lighter, it's actually very stiff, but it, it has an ability to move if it's impacted extremely hard cool. and absorb it. Excellent. Cut.